everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm Purple Game here, and today I'm playing some more Balloons Adventure Time Tower Defense. And today we are doing another set of Thrones, this time with Sai. So I might have done one with Sai in the past, but I don't think I actually have. Um, so I believe this is my first Sai only like set of the Thrones. Uh, same map from last time. I'm actually recording this on the same day, which is kind of cool, because uh, as you can see, there's only eight hours left. If I didn't record- eight hours? Did it say eight hours? Oh no, they have eight hours left. I think there's like 18 hours left. Uh, point is, there isn't a ton of time left in this event, and I want to try to get a few more of these. This will probably be the last one, but there might be one more set in the clones, we'll see. Um, to any Cricket and Kingdom fans, there will be another one of those probably tomorrow, but this has happened in first, obviously. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be using Psy with this build. Um, it's generally pretty standard. The silver tip stakes obviously is just like a tube spear spatter on a, uh, dragon's tooth, dragon's fang, I believe it's called dragon's fang. Uh, just like an extra two pierce there, so it's slightly better, but it doesn't make that big of a difference. Though it does remove regen and zombies, which can be pretty helpful. Uh, though I don't believe there are zombies here. Uh, then we have basics like Kungu Mama Meter or Baker Shard, stuff like that. One of the cool things about Sai actually is that she has the uh, Shadow Clone ability, which means that for each Sai we place, we have the potential to get two Sai's out of it, because we get the Shadow Sai as well, uh, as well as the Balloon Sabotage ability is quite helpful as well, cutting Balloon Speed in half, I believe. Um, so essentially we're having Chroma Sabo, so everything that's not a bad balloon is moving way slower, and there's going to be a lot of Sai's, like way more than there normally would be. Uh, so let's get into this, we have six Cobras again, just like we did with the PB build. Uh, the actual rest of the party is identical to with PB, so if you haven't seen that video out, definitely check it out. It was yesterday's video, though I'm sure most of you have. Uh, as per usual, let's just start with one sign in the back, one tower in the back, and then we'll save up and go for all of our Cobras. I will turn on our start on, at least for the start tier. Gonna be a little slow at the start here, simply because I decided to put Sai at the back of the map, and uh, the balloons take a little while to move there. Uh, we shouldn't have any issue, though. One of the best things about Sai as a tower is obviously she has base camera detection, she's a ninja, which is super duper helpful. Uh, but then another big thing is she has uh, homing projectiles, which she's one of the like three characters, I guess, that has that. Uh, and one of the two that are actual dart towers, which dart monkeys and dart, like, dart weapon users in this game. Definitely a little bit better than the non-dart weapon users, so, you know, it has a bit of an effect. Uh, so really, really powerful, good homing, high damage. Uh, and a lot of other, like, useful support, obviously. The balloon sabotage is very useful. Size, like, special upgrade that requires a trinket is actually to freeze balloons with it, which is super helpful. Uh, well, no, not super helpful. It can be pretty helpful. I'm not sure I'd deem it as, like, super helpful necessarily, but it's fairly helpful. It's, for the most part, helpful. Uh, so, I mean, you know, judge it as your own. Judge it how you will. Uh, it's generally quite a powerful ability. Even if it doesn't work on bad balloons, it's quite useful. Or not bad balloons, even if it doesn't work on mobs in general. Uh, still a very helpful skill. Uh, do we actually have six Cobras? We do. For a second there I thought we only had five, but it looks like we're okay. And with that, all six Cobras are here. We do also have one Beamer, I believe, so we'll do that first. Then we'll start upgrading Psy, and then everything goes crazy, because we're gonna have all the money in the world pretty darn quickly. Uh, so yeah, it should be a lot of fun. Uh, just double checking, we don't have anything else. I don't believe we do, but always don't know how to be careful. Uh, no, looks like we're okay. So, Psy, it is your turn to be upgraded. See King projectiles, more projectiles, all that awesome stuff. Uh, once we max out the Psy in the back, we're probably going to put one in the front to speed this process up a bit. Uh, but similar to BB, I kind of want to just create an army of Psy's to demolish everything. I already have, in the back of my mind, the perfect idea for this title and thumbnail. It'll be like a ninja army versus a bad balloon, so just like a bunch of size versus the bad balloon. That'll be a pretty cool thumbnail, at least I think so. Uh, hopefully it'll turn out at least half as good as I am imagining it. Um, but no, I feel like it's a lot of fun. Sai has always been one of my favorite characters in this game. Ninjas in general have been, like, ever since they've been introduced, they have been just the best towers from the, like, Balloons franchise in general, uh, ever since they were released, I think in BC4, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, ninjas are awesome. It's not surprising ninjas are so cool and people like them so much. Uh, but yeah, the ninjas are awesome. Sai is one of my favorite towers. Really powerful, really helpful, great support, great defense. And just a reliable tower, which is one of the best parts. A lot of the other powerful towers early game, like uh, Super Monkey and technically C4 Charlie, uh, super strong, but incredibly unreliable because you really couldn't rely on them for just about anything. 
Uh, because Super Monkey didn't have homing projectiles, and C4 Charlie was just slow. And his projectiles didn't even explode all that much. Also, I feel like that's more than a 50% slow. I could be wrong, but that sabotage seems like a significant speed decrease. Uh, also keep in mind, we're eventually gonna get Cobra's upgrade, which is gonna make all of these ability cooldowns half as fast. Which I kinda wish they did the opposite and just made the duration twice as long. I feel like that would be nicer, because then you don't have to press a button twice as often, but... I suppose both are good, both are good in their own ways, and in a lot of ways, the shorter cooldown is the better option. Uh, but it still would be nice if I didn't have to press the abilities as much. Uh, but with that, we do have one maxed out side firing. I believe it's only five projectiles. Is it five? We can just use five, right? Uh, side throws even more shurikens. It's probably five. Pretty sure it's five. Let's assume it's five projectiles. Uh, that's really strong if each projectile is doing like 10, 12 damage. Uh, even more to Moabs. That's pretty absurd. Not to mention, um, because of the, what's it called? It's like the weak spot, or what is it? Let's see what it is. We should be able to see this quite quickly. Marked for death. It was there straight away. Uh, marked for death targets a balloon, and I think it works on Moroplast balloons too. Maybe not the bad balloon, though. Uh, it makes them take double damage, so, you know, technically we're doing like 24 damage with five projectiles. That's like 100 damage per throw. It's pretty powerful. It's certainly pretty powerful. Also, BMO. I do apologize about BMO. I'm going to miss BMO constantly. I'm not going to be like, oh, BMO's ready the second after she starts waving her arms in the air. Um, so I do apologize for that if some people... Some people get annoyed by it. I know. I Sometimes, if I'm watching a video and someone does something like that, I get annoyed by it. I do apologize. I don't care that much. It doesn't generate that much money. Um... I guess I should probably actually go for Cobra's upgrade first, just so we have guaranteed faster ability cooldowns. Also, by the way, in case you haven't seen it yet, the Shadow Clothes! Oh, there's, there's one in the corner. You can sort of see the, like, Gugu Mama Meteor effect, but there's also the other one in the front. Uh, pretty darn cool. Except they're laying Tetsubishis, not even not on the current track, not on any track, and they're glitching through the floor. What the heck is wrong with those Tetsubishis? I don't understand. Also, the Shadow Clone, as you can see, is pretty good uptime now. It's over half well over half. It's over, it's like three quarters there. As for the sabotage, as we'll see in a second here, uh, you can't really tell. <laughs> it's also like three quarters of its cooldown, but you won't really notice that because balloons aren't really showing up on screen at all. I think I will do most of the ninjas in the back. We like, I like having one in the front just to speed this process up, uh, but unlike PB, no full map range, which is definitely a big weakness of them, at least compared to PB. Uh, it's too bad. Uh, also, for whatever reason, I don't know if it's just because I saved that more. When we did PB, I had like 60,000, like we, when we did Princess Bubblegum Send and Clones, I had like $60,000 saved up pretty quickly. I don't know if that's, I guess we just made like 7k in one round, so I guess I'm just spending a lot of money. I don't think as Psy, of Psy as being close to expensive as PB, but I guess all things considered, Psy is pretty close in price. Uh, like, the both like big upgrades are worth 8,000 versus 12,000 on PB. It's certainly more on PB, but not, like, a stupid amount more. Also, I think this is probably the last, like, Sabotage Supply Lines I'm gonna buy, or one of the last. Because uh, you don't need that many. They're, like, full map range, obviously, their area of effect. Uh, so, that's $3,000 on every single side. That adds up pretty quickly. So, I think I'll probably buy this one, so we'll have four. We don't need four. We can probably get away with just two, in fact. But I'm gonna go for four just in case we need, for some reason, four. <laughs> Uh, I feel like before, there's no way I'm really gonna run out unless I just spam them for literally no reason. Um, so I think at that point I'll stop buying it because it is very expensive and takes a lot of money that I would rather spend on something else. Uh, you know, like more Bloom Jitsu. Also, have these guys, these, they don't even have pops yet. That's the true sign that this side in the front has the majority of the pops. The first side has like 4,000 and these two have zero. That is a sign of true power. True, true power. Also, just let me get this. There we go. Okay, Sabotage Supply Lines, no longer. We are no longer upgrading them because they are not worth it. Also, PB, or not PB, BMO. BMO, the other, not, I don't know. I don't know why in my mind I'm like, PB, BMO, same thing. I guess they're acronyms, like they're short forms for the name. Does, does BMO stand for something? I don't actually think BMO stands for anything, though, so I guess not really. Okay, Tetsubishi, you're bothering me. They're like exploding into nothing, and then they don't exist. But then they do exist, because you can see them glitching through the floor, and they do damage, and I don't like it. What the heck? What is wrong with this Tetsubishi spike? I don't like it. I don't know what's wrong with this map, but I don't like it. 
Also, Shattered Loans, because... Yay. Uh, can I actually place these on them? I can't. That's something. That's interesting. I wonder if I fill up the entire map, will Shattered Loans spawn on top of other towers? Probably not. I'm pretty sure Shattered Loans are generally spawn, like, somewhat within the area of Psy. But not necessarily. Like, they're not... They're usually pretty close, but they don't have to be. Also, now I'm gonna pair with three more in the front, because why not? We need to have our death squad here, and then if it makes it through here, like, fast things, they can be killed on the back. Because the back's gotta be strong too, but uh, I, it's kinda nice to have some defense in the front, so we don't have to wait a super long time for balloons that aren't that strong. Uh, also, do we even need- we do, right? Flash bomb? Yeah, it's still necessary. Always a little hard to remember what upgrades you need for what. Uh, very, very strong. Sai is just such an awesome character. Uh, I remember, like, for my first couple of popular runs, and when I was trying to farm, like, if I ever farmed this game, I would always use Sai. It would be like, oh, even back when I grinded the events, I didn't do the most recent one, because I was very busy when it came out, I had plans and stuff, but, uh, even in future, I'm not sure I'll keep doing the events, it's just not really worth it, it didn't really make sense for me at this point. We'll see, I might, it's hard to know. Uh, but in general, it's just, I don't know, Psy was one of the best towers for that. Cheap, fast, easy to use all throughout the various stages of the game, and easy to make it so Psy could pop all balloon types. Um, so just a really awesome tower for that. It's usually Psy plus Flame Princess with Thought Cannon Wand or something like that. Uh, though generally I would probably use Psy with Treasure Chest Keys, because that's just better. Uh, I think I am going to go for more in the back now. I think three is probably all I'm going to do in the front. I do want most of the defense to be in the back still. Uh, we'll see how long that stays true, but for the time being, that's how I feel. Because I feel like it's way cooler to just have an army all at, all in one spot, even if it's significantly less efficient, which it probably is. Uh, I do kind of wonder how many sides we'll be able to get back there. It's only around 21, which is a pretty good sign. And unlike PB, there's significantly less lag because there's not that many explosions, and there's no abilities, at least not, like, necessary abilities. And... It's not full map range, which does make a big difference in terms of lag. It's generally not a good thing if a tower is full map range, because then they have to calculate it for every single thing on the screen, which takes a lot more effort from the computer and the game. I don't really know who's doing what. I guess the computer's doing it, but the game's telling the computer to do the calculation or whatever, so... From both of them, both, both the computer and the game. Also, BMO. Uh, we actually have a lot of these already. What is it now? We're up to 10 size. Pretty good number. And then, Shadow Clones! It's pretty awesome, the Shadow Clones. Just spreads your defense out a bit more. It's a really, like, honestly, it's one of the best epics for Psy. It's a really cool one. One of the first ones I got. Like, one of the first epics I had. But also, um, it's a specialty upgrade, which is, or a specialty trinket, which, besides Hambo, I don't think there are any epic specialty trinkets. I guess also, yeah, like, the purple, um, vengeful idol thing for Super Monkey. Okay, so maybe there's quite a few, but it's still really cool. I still think it's really cool. And there's Baby Blanket for Finn. Okay, so there's a lot, but if I pretend there aren't any more, then it's cool. Uh, just my brain completely ignoring. I'm like, Baby Blanket's useless. The Dark Sun Idol's just like, in my mind, it's just a permanently attached to Trinket Slot number one for Super Monkey. So in my mind, there's only really one. Did I cover them all? That, that was it, right? There was, oh, Hambo. Hambo's pretty useful, too. But Hambo's also one that I'm, like, permanently attached to uh, one of the Marcelins. Because, really, the specialty trinkets, it's very rare for you not to want them. Also, Bad Balloon, that just got soloed by our three... or Yeah, practically soloed with a little bit of help from Cobra. By our three size in the front. I like to remind you they are currently eight in the back, about to be nine. I don't think we're losing any time soon, the Bad Balloon test. Not quite as interesting as I thought it would be. So we need to reach around where the bad balloons in the front, like the bad balloons can't be being in the front. So they have to go to the back and then they die instantaneously. That is good thumbnail and just good interesting. <laughs> uh. Okay, fortified bad balloon. This is probably it with like at least twice as much health. This should happen this time. And then I'll activate all the shatter clones too. It'll be really cool. I just need to time this because I'm probably going to use this shot for the thumbnail. So I got to be a little careful. Okay, slow mo time. How are they still, like, this is the benefit of homing, they're still attacking the back, um, Fortified Bad Balloon. And now all of these sides that have had zero pops are finally gonna get some pops. Except they're still <laughs> shooting it. Okay, Bad Balloon, hurry up. Awesome, awesome scene. That was probably the thumbnail. 
or not. Maybe if we end up with like three times as many size, that won't be the thumbnail because it won't be nearly as cool as I thought it was there. But I am in the I, in my mind. I'm still thinking of that stuff because recently I just, I mentioned a ton of the PB video, but um, I've also now mentioned the PB video a ton, so that's that's something too. Can I put one in the center here? Not really. We'll do one more over here then. Um, as I was saying though, oh actually. Shadow Throne Army once more, one more chance for the thumbnail, because that's also a cool shot, getting the bad balloon front facing. Shadows. Very, very powerful. I don't think we're losing any time soon. Um, but as I mentioned in the last one, and uh, as I'm going to mention again now, because of course I am, uh, recently, Balloons Adventure on Tower Defense video, with a really good thumbnail, in my opinion, that just did super duper well. And I can't quite tell now if it's YouTube being weird, or if it's actually that it was a good thumbnail and stuff. So in my mind, I'm trying to do something cool like it, or I'm trying to work on better thumbnails. Because I feel like it does have a big impact on how well videos perform, which is obviously a big deal for obvious reasons. Um, but yeah, okay, well now, now we can start spamming Shadow Clones. Now we're in the position, the three in the front are enough to do it, but as you see there, as soon as I use abilities, it lags a ton. Like it lags so, so much. Also, just double checking, this doesn't work on bad balloons, right? I can't spam these to slow them down? No? Cool. <laughs> Had to double check it, uh, just in case. Still gonna die really quick, and still everything else is gonna die really quick, but... Alas, it's still worth mentioning. Uh, okay, more and more Shadow Clones! I guess now, at this point, I have a ton of options for the thumbnail. Well, more options, the better. But yeah, uh, thumbnails are cool. And that's all I really have to mention. I do actually, one thing I didn't add earlier, so I'll add now in this video, uh, is I actually, after that, I looked at my, like, some of my top videos at their, um, impression click-through rate. I don't really know. There is a short form for that, but I don't know what it is. Uh, but apparently, as I'm noticing more and more, that's a really important stat, which I guess makes sense. If you think about it, one of the most important things would be how often, if your video is shown to someone, Will they click it and watch it? That's obviously a big deal. Uh, but no, my highest performing videos had a significantly higher um, impression click-through rate, which I think, in general, the higher the impression click-through rate, or click rate or whatever, the higher the impressions, because I think YouTube sees that and they're like, oh, awesome, you're awesome, this video's awesome, let's show it to a bunch of people. Uh, which again, kind of makes sense. It makes a lot of sense if you think about it. So yeah, I think that's kind of cool. Okay, I can't tell what's going on, so I can't place another side. There we go. <laughs> um, but no, so very cool thing. Something I'm definitely going to be looking out for in the future. I have a little bit of faith already from, uh, for the PB video. Just the slim possibility that it also randomly, when I wake up tomorrow, when this video is going live, it'll be like, oh, it's at 2,000 views too. That's cool. <laughs> that would be really awesome. I don't, I know it's not that likely, but that would be really cool. YouTube's weird. Like, ultimately, that's just what I have to say at this point, is just YouTube is weird. I need to stop doing that, it's causing a ton of lag. Uh, but no, YouTube's very odd, and because YouTube's odd, sometimes weird things happen, and sometimes they're coincidence, and sometimes they're constant. So yeah, like, it's weird. It's weird, weird, weird. I will say though, if you like looking at the analytics today, the video basically exploded overnight, and then just completely plateaued, like, the growth just ended on that video, which isn't surprising. It's just, it's weird looking. Uh, so who knows, maybe now I'll reach the point where I realize, hey, I should probably pay a bit more attention to those random analytics. YouTube keeps saying, like, hey, you did this, 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 and this. They do, I mean, I think I mentioned a few times, but they do send, like, monthly reports, essentially. They're almost always wrong or outdated by a few days, but... They still send them, which is kind of nice. Just a little reminder saying, hey, you got this many views, and this many subscribers, and this many blah 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 this month, which is kind of cool. It's kind of nice, except when those numbers are lower than last month, that's not so nice, but doesn't happen all that often. Fortified Bad Balloons, after Fortified Bad Balloon, after Fortified Bad Balloon. This is starting to get boring, and as with the PB video, I don't really feel like going on forever. I don't. We're making money slower. Making everything slower, the game is getting slower. So this is actually farther when we made it in the PV video because it wasn't lag because it's not lagging as much now. Uh, but we actually are, as you can see, not doing all that well. If I don't use abilities and I get on an unlucky round, I could very easily see myself losing. 
uh, in the fairly near future, so I don't think I'm going to go too much farther within it. I think we're going to end right about now, maybe a bit longer, uh, maybe at the end of this round, because this video is a bit shorter than the PB one, but I really don't think we're going to make it that much longer. If I don't use abilities here, there's a chance we'll just straight up die. Are we dead? We're not, but that was really, really close to straight up dying. Like, we're not... We're not that invincible, it's not like the PB video where if I ignored lag, I could survive a long, long time. We're not that powerful here. Sai is a really good tower, but Sai doesn't scale nearly as- like, she doesn't scale nearly as well as some towers do in Send of the Clones, which is probably why I haven't done a Send of the Clones Sai ever, if- or at the very least, in a long time. No matter how clickbait is- no, 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 no matter how clickbait an army of ninjas is for any title or thumbnail. Um, but no, I think we're definitely nearing in. Oh, it's already around 28. Auto start is messing with me. Uh, but yeah, I'll do this one last bad balloon and this will be it for today. Uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Consider liking the video and subscribing and sharing the video and all those awesome, awesome, incredible things. Leaving a comment, that's really awesome too. I've heard it makes an impact and it's also just a really nice thing to see. Uh, so I would definitely appreciate it if you guys leave a comment too. Um, if you are watching on computer and you can check out the community tab, that would be cool too. I don't mention that very often, but it's a cool place. I also don't use it all that often, but every once in a while I'll give a, like, a poll or a question or something like that on there. Uh, if I miss a video for a day, for example, there's decent odds I'm saying something or giving a reason in the community tab, so just thought I'd mention that. And, uh, yeah, thank you all for watching, hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye!